Hey everyone, welcome to the Wayscript channel. My name's Derek, and today I want to show you how we can run a Discord bot using the Wayscript platform and commands on an Excel sheet. Let's look at that Excel data first. Here in our workbook, we have the commands that we'll be using. So anytime a user types in any of these strings, we should return a response of these actions. So anytime a user types in exclamation point Twitter, we want to return our Twitter URL. Let's see how we can build this using Wayscript. If you haven't used Wayscript before, it's a platform that allows us to integrate different APIs from many different services all into one platform. We can very easily reference APIs in many different services, incorporate them into our workflow, and use them in just minutes. Here on the Wayscript platform, let's click on create a new script. We'll call this one Discord Bot and click create. A Wayscript workflow begins by some type of trigger. This is what activates our workflow. In this example, we're using Discord, so we'll be using the Discord trigger. We'll click on Add Trigger, and we'll choose the Discord trigger. The first time you use this, you'll have to authorize it through Discord. I already have it authorized, so I'll click on Activate Trigger and turn that on. Then I'll select my server. I'm using my Code with Derek server, and then we'll choose the channel. I have a test channel for this video, so we'll use that. And the output that we want is the Discord message text. Once we get that, you should see a Discord message text variable pop up down here. Now we need to read in the Excel sheet so we have our commands and our actions that we want to do on those commands. So we'll click on Add Step and we'll choose the Excel module. We'll click it. We'll upload the file that has our commands. Mine was called Discord Commands. So I'll click it and click Open. Once I get it, I have two columns down here. One was for those commands, and then the other is the action of those commands. We'll assign these a variable name that we can reference later on by typing in the column heading. So we'll call these keywords, and then we'll call the other ones actions. So we have our keywords and our actions. We'll click off of that. Right now, when a user goes into my Discord and types a message, I will get that entire message back, but I only need to find certain values within that message specifically the values that begin with an exclamation point and have some string after them. So that means we might need to use regular expressions to do this action. I'll do this using Python. So I'll grab the Python module and drag it into my workflow. Once I do that, I get this place that I can type code over here. I'll expand it so it's easier to see. Let's go ahead and connect the variables that we created in the previous step. We can do that by saying what we want to call them. We'll go ahead and get rid of these two lines. So let's call the first one keywords. And then to input it from the previous module, we can just say inputs and then pass in that variable name. We called it keywords. So we'll type in keywords. We'll do the same thing with the action. So we'll say actions is equal to inputs and then pass in the string actions. In Python, we have the regular expression library. So we'll import regular expression. And now we need to do the regex on our message. We'll say m is equal to re. So using this regular expression library, we'll use the compile method. We want to take in a raw string. The first character is a reserved character. So we need to cancel that special action by using a exclamation point. And then we need the string after that exclamation point. So we need all the letters. We'll say a through z until we hit a space. We'll do that with the asterisk key. So we're pulling in any number of letters after an exclamation point. We'll end this and go down to the next line. Now we need to find those matches. So we'll say matches is equal to M, the method find all, and then we'll pass in our Discord message text. Here's a neat feature that we can do with Wayscript. We can actually go over to the variable where that Discord message text is and just drag it into our Python code. We'll place it there. And now let's say that we pull multiple commands from one message. Let's only consider the first one. We'll say found keyword will be equal to that matches and then we'll index it at the first position. So using a zero after it. With this regular expression, we found a potential keyword, but now we need to verify that it is a keyword and then perform the action. We'll do this by saying something like position is equal to keywords.index and then we'll pass in the index of that found keyword. This will find that keyword within our keywords variable, if it exists, 
And then we need the action for that keyword. So we'll say action is equal to actions. So all the actions from that list, and then we'll pass in that position. So we'll index it on the position of that found keyword. All we're saying here is that once we find the keyword, find the position within that Excel sheet, and then apply the action that is right next to that keyword. That way, when we type in exclamation point Twitter, we return the Twitter URL instead of a different one. Now we need to output this action, that way our Discord bot can read it into the chat. We'll get rid of this first output, and we'll say outputs, square brackets, action is equal to action. And that's all we need for the Python code. So we'll go out of this, and now we need just a Discord bot to read this message into our chat. We'll click on Add Step, and we'll choose the Discord option. We need to write a message whenever we get that command. So let's make sure that we're in the same channel. We could write it to a different channel if we wanted to, which is an interesting feature. And now we can just drag in the action variable that we created in that last module into our message body. We'll drag it in, and now we just need to test out our brand new Discord bot. So we'll go over to Discord, and here I am in my test channel. Let's go ahead and test it out. So we'll say exclamation point Twitter and hit enter. Wait on the Discord bot to return us the action in that Excel spreadsheet. After a few seconds, that Discord bot returns us the action that we expected. This is just one way to use this, and there's plenty of other ideas that you could use using this Discord bot. For example, you could send emails to yourself whenever a certain command is typed in your chat. You could pull stock market information using certain commands. And you can do plenty more all on the Wayscript platform in one workflow. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like to try Wayscript, you can click the link in the description of this video and try it out right now for completely free. If you have any questions about this script, please let us know. Until next time, 